Do you also use Razorpay as your payment gateway to receive new payments for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. In this video, we are going to understand how to send and get WhatsApp message on successful Razorpay payment using AI Sensei. So here I am using Razorpay as my payment gateway for my online store. And now here my objective is that whenever I receive a new payment through Razorpay, then automatically and instantly my customer should receive a WhatsApp message on his or her phone number. And after that, automatically automatically and instantly I should receive the customer information on my whatsapp number. So here to automate the entire process I need to connect my razor pay with my whatsapp by SNC account using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So to see the working of this automation and to learn this process step by step let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you all know that I run an online business and keeping my customers informed and staying updated on their transactions is essential. So by sending a WhatsApp message to customers after a successful Razor Pay payment, using AI Sensei, I can instantly confirm their purchase, build trust and provide them with important details like order confirmation or a thank you note. At the same time, I can receive a notification on my own WhatsApp with the customer's details ensuring I stay updated about the new payments. This automation helps me provide excellent customer service while staying organized and efficient in managing my business operations. So here on my screen you can see the payment page of my product that I am selling on my store through Razor Pay. And now here I have already built an automation where I have connected my Razor Pay account with my WhatsApp by SNC account in order to send a WhatsApp message to my customer and receive a WhatsApp message for my own on every successful payment received. So now here in this video we are going to test this automation by simply making a test payment over here. So this is the payment page and here I am going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here you can see the amount that has been fixed over here. So now I am going to enter the name such as test user. Here I am going to enter the email as test at the rate pablitudes.com and here for the phone number I am going to enter my own phone number in order to receive a WhatsApp message. And then I am going to click on this pay. And here you can see that my payment is in a test mode. So here I am going to select a payment method such as UPI and here I am going to enter the UPI ID and then I am going to click on this verify and pay. And here you can see that we have successfully made a payment over here. That means we have successfully placed an order. So now let's go and check our WhatsApp. And here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received the first message which says, Hi test user, thank you for your payment of rupees 499. Your transaction was successful and your order is now confirmed. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out. We appreciate your business. ABC Store. So this is the first message that we are going to send to our customer on every new order placed. And here you can see the second message that we have received which says, Hi, a successful payment has been received. Here are the details, customer info, that is name, email, transaction id keep up the great work so this is the second message which i'm going to receive on my own phone number whenever a new payment is received through my razor pay okay so this was the working of this amazing automation that we have already created and now here in this video we are going to learn step by step that how you can create this amazing automation by simply connecting your razor pay account with your whatsapp by snc account using an automation software named as pabli connect so pabli connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. So here on my screen you can see the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit it by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 task every month to explore the software and if you're an existing user click on sign in here i'm an existing user so i'm clicking on sign in now after signing in here you can see our Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. here to integrate my applications i'm going to use Pabli connect now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection I need to create a workflow first. So for that here I am going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. 
Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as send and get WhatsApp message on successful Razor Pay payment using AI Sensei. And now here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select the folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more hyperlink given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder inside Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window you can see we have successfully created a workflow and here on my screen you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Razor Pay as I am receiving new payments through Razor Pay. So Razor Pay is a popular online payment gateway in India that makes it easy for businesses to accept payments from customers. Think of it as a bridge between your bank and your customers, allowing them to pay using various methods like credit cards, debit cards, net banking, UPI and more. So here in my Razor Pay trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger event as payment captured. So that whenever a new payment is captured in a Razor Pay, then automatically Public Connect is going to capture the response. Or you can say automatically this entire workflow is going to get triggered and now here after selecting my trigger event you can see we have received a webhook url that means here i'm going to use this webhook url to connect my razor pay with pabli connect so here following the instructions given below firstly i'm going to copy this webhook url and here i've already logged in my razor pay account so this is my razor pay account and from here i'm going to click on this account and settings and here under account and settings you can see website and app settings and here under website and app settings you can see we have received the option for webhooks so so I'm going to select it over here and then I'm going to click on this add a new webhook given over here. Now here after clicking on this add new webhook, you can see a webhook setup dialog box has appeared in front of us. So here in this webhook URL field, I'm going to enter the webhook URL that I've received in my Pabli's workflow. So this is the webhook URL and then here it is asking me to select the active events. So here in this active events field, I need to select the exact same event that I've selected in my Pabli's workflow. So here I'm going to select my active event as payment captured so that whenever a payment is captured, then automatically I'm going to receive a response on this particular webhook URL. And now here after selecting all the required details, I'm going to click on this create webhook given over here. And here you can see we have successfully created a new webhook. That means we have successfully set up a webhook inside our Razor Pay and we have successfully connected our Razor Pay account with Pabli Connect. So now let's move back to our Pabli's workflow. And here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response, we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission, we need to make a test payment through our Razor Pay payment page. So for that, let me take you back to our Razor Pay payment page. Here I'm going to refresh it. And now again here I'm going to enter some dummy data and do a test submission. So here the amount has been fixed. So here for the name I'm going to enter the name as dummy user. Email as dummy at the rate pablitudes.com. And here for the phone number I'm going to enter a random phone number. And then I'm going to click on this pay. And again here I'm going to make a test payment. So for that I'm going to select my payment method as UPI. And here I'm going to enter my UPI ID. And then I'm going to click on this verify and pay. And here you can see we have made a successful payment over here. That means we have successfully placed an order using our Razor Pay payment page. So now let's go and check our Pabli's workflow. And here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received some details such as the UPI ID that we entered. Here you can see the entity status scrolling a little down. Here you can see the order ID, phone number. Here you can see the customer's name, email ID, method scrolling a little down. Here you can see some other details as well such as the phone number and here you can see the amount that we have received with two extra zeros. That means the exact amount was 499 but here we have received the amount as 49900. So here we have received two extra zeros with the amount. So here we need to modify this amount. So here to make this modifications what we need to do is that we need to divide this particular number with 100 to get the exact amount. So for that what we are going to do is that we are going to use a feature by Pabli that is number formatter by Pabli to perform a 
perform math operation on this particular number. So for that here in this action step, I am going to select a feature by Pavli that is number formatter by Pavli. So here we are going to use a feature by Pavli that is number formatter by Pavli to perform a math operation and get the exact amount of the product that is purchased. So here in this action step, I am going to select my action event as perform math operation. So here I am using number formatter by Pavli to perform a math operation but you can use number formatter by Pavli for formatting number, formatting phone number, currency, counter, decimal conversion, minor unit conversions and spreadsheet formulas. So here I am going to select my action event as perform math operation and then I am going to click on this connect. And now here you can see it is asking me to enter the numbers. So here in the help text it says enter the numbers. Here you can enter the comma separated values to perform the operation. The example 100 comma 200 for 100 plus 200. So here for the numbers I need to enter the amount number on which I want to perform the math operation. So here instead of entering the number manually here I am going to map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I am going to map the data from the response that I have received in my trigger step. Mapping makes the text dynamic so that when we are going to receive a new payment through our Razor Pay, then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So here I'm going to search for the amount. So this is the amount. So here I'm going to map it and then I'm going to enter a comma and then I'm going to enter the number that is 100 because I want to divide this particular number with 100. And now here in the operation field, I'm going to select my operation as divide and then I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response where we have received the exact amount amount of our product which was 499. So here you can see we have got the exact amount. So with this we have successfully set up this action step as well. Now here after receiving a new payment to our Razor Pay, I want to send an automated WhatsApp message to my customer confirming the purchase. So for that what I need to do is that I need to connect my WhatsApp by SNC account with Pabli Connect in this action step. So for that here I am going to add the action step and here in this action step I am going to select my action application as WhatsApp by SNC. So WhatsApp by AI Sensi is a tool that enhances WhatsApp messaging for businesses by adding features like automated replies, bulk messaging and customer support. So here in my WhatsApp by SNC action step, I'm going to select my action event as send template message. So that whenever we're going to receive a new payment through our Razor Pay, then automatically and instantly, our customer is going to receive a WhatsApp message on his or her number through WhatsApp by SNC. And now here to connect my WhatsApp by SNC with Public Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select our new connection. If your WhatsApp by SNC account is already connected with Public Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, it is asking me to enter the API key. So here following the instructions given below, here I've already logged in my SNC account. And from here, I'm going to click on this manage. And from here, I'm going to select API key. And here you can see we have received the API key. So I'm going to copy it. But if you wish to regenerate the key, then you can simply regenerate the key. So now moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here I'm going to paste the API key. Now here after entering the API key, I'm going to click on the save given over here. And here you can see we are now successfully connected. So moving forward and then here it is asking me to enter the campaign name. So here in the help text it says enter the name of the campaign that has to be sent to the user. It is to be noted that the status of the campaign should be live. So here in this campaign name field, I need to enter the name of the campaign that I've already launched for the template that I'm going to use over here to send a confirmation message to my customer. So here to get this campaign name, let me take you back to my SNC account. And now here in my SNC account under campaigns, you can see all the campaigns which I've launched till now. So here in this case, I'm going to use a campaign that I've already launched with the name customer message. And here you can see the status of my campaign is live. And here you can see the message that I've drafted which says, Hi one, thank you for your payment of rupees two. Your transaction was successful and your order is now confirmed. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reach out. We appreciate your business, ABC store. So this is the particular message that I want to send to my customer on every new order received and here you can see I've used a variable in the place of name and the amount over here. Because here I want that whenever I'm going to receive a new payment through my Razor Pay, then automatically this previously existing details should be updated with the new one. Variables makes our text dynamic and you can add multiple variables in your draft. So this is the template and this is my campaign name over here. So I'm going to copy it. Moving back to my Pabli's workflow and here I'm going to enter the campaign name. So this is the campaign name. So now moving forward 
message and then here it is asking me for the mobile number so in this mobile number field i need to enter the number to whom i want to send this whatsapp message so again here for the mobile number i'm going to map the mobile number of my customer so i'm going to search for the phone number so this is my customer's phone number so i'm going to map it over here moving forward and then here it is asking me for the username so here in the help text it says enter the name of the user to whom the campaign has to be sent so here i need to enter my customer name again so i'm going to search for my customer name so this is my customer name moving forward here the source and tags are not required field so here i'm going to leave them blank and then here it is asking me to enter the template parameter so here in this template parameter field i need to enter the values of my variable that i have used in my template so here i've already shown you that i've used two variables in my template one is for the name and one is for the amount so firstly here i'm going to map my customer name so for that i'm going to search for my customer name so this is my customer names and then after mapping the customer name i'm going to enter a comma and then i'm going to map the amount so here i'm going to map the amount that i have received in this number format by pabli's response that is 499 so here i'm going to map it moving forward and then here it is asking me for the attributes url and the file name so again these fields are not required fields so here i'm going to leave them blank and now you have to enter all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send as request but here before clicking on the save and send as request i'm going to replace this dummy user number with my original number so that i can receive a whatsapp message over here so here i have successfully entered my own phone number and now i'm going to click on the save and send as request given over here and here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully sent a whatsapp message on my phone number so now let's go and check it and here you can see we have successfully received a new whatsapp message over here with the name hi dum user and exactly the same message template that we have created in our whatsapp by snc account so with this we have successfully set up this action step as well now here after sending a confirmation message to our customer what i want is that i also want to receive a whatsapp message with all the customer details so for that here i'm going to add another action step and here in this action step i'm going to search for my action application that is whatsapp by snc and then here i'm going to select my action event as send template message and then i'm going to click on this connect and now here to connect my whatsapp by snc account with public connect i'm going to select existing connection because i have already connected my whatsapp by snc account with public connect in my previous action step so i have selected my existing connection and now i'm going to click on the save given over here and here you can see we are now successfully connected so moving forward and then here it is asking me to enter the campaign name so again here in this campaign name i need to enter the campaign name that i've already launched for the template that i'm going to use it over here so for that let me take you back to my snc account and here under campaigns you can see all the campaigns that i have created and in this case i'm going to use a campaign that i've already created with the name customer alert here you can see the status as live and here you can see the message which i've drafted which says hi a successful payment has been received here are the details customer info name email transaction id keep up the great work and here you can see i've used three variables for the values over here so this is my template and this is my campaign name so here i'm going to copy it moving back to my babli's workflow and here i'm going to enter the campaign name now here after entering the campaign name again here it is asking me for the mobile number so here in this mobile number field i need to enter my own phone number as i want to receive this whatsapp message this time so here i'm going to enter my own phone number so here i've successfully entered my own phone number and then here it is asking me for the username so here for the username i'm going to enter my store name that is abc store moving forward and here the source and tags are not required field so here i'm going to leave them blank and now here in this template parameter field i need to enter the values for my variable so here i have already shown you that i have used three variables in my template this time so i'm going to map three values so firstly i'm going to search for the customer's name so this is my customer's name then i'm going to enter a comma and then i'm going to search for the customer's email so this is my customer's email then i'm going to enter a comma and then lastly here i'm going to search for the transaction id so this is the transaction id so here with this we have successfully entered all the variables values so moving forward and then again here it is asking me for the attributes url and the file name so again these fields are not required fields so here i'm going to leave it blank and now here after entering all the required details i'm going to click on the save and send as request given over here and here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully sent a whatsapp message to our phone number so now let's go and check it 
and here you can see we have received a successful message with the same message template and the details as name as dummy user email as dummy at the rate publitudes.com and a different transaction id so with this we have successfully set up our entire automation now let me summarize this whole video for you so here we have taken our trigger as razor pay and our action as number formatted by pably and whatsapp by snc twice so that whenever a new payment is captured through our razor pay then automatically using a feature by pably that is number formatted by pably a math operation is going to be perform on that amount to get the exact amount of the product purchase and after that automatically and instantly a whatsapp message is going to send to our customer through whatsapp by snc and after that automatically i'm also going to receive a whatsapp message with all the customer details through whatsapp by snc okay so these were the steps to how to send and get whatsapp messages on successful razor pay payment using ai sensei i hope these steps were clear to you now if you want to use the same workflow then you can find the clone link in the description box below i hope you like the video thanks for watching not only these applications you can integrate many other applications with pably connect so now if you have any doubt then you can email us at support@pably.com and if you have any query then you can reach out to us at forum.pably.com and if you have any pricing related issue then you can simply visit our website that is www.pably.com so now if you like the video then please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends